the Sovereign House also has a strong connection to the first schoolhouse. Over in this showcase, uh, you'll see a rendition of the first schoolhouse. Charles was just 17 when he began teaching uh, at a one-room log cabin schoolhouse. Uh, on his father's property, Philip Sovereign was a United Empire Loyalist that came here at approximately 1802. He actually first went to Norfolk County and he was a very enterprising man. He uh, not only did he have a saw and grist mill, he also had a distillery and a tavern. He was a judge and a member of parliament, but in 1912 he went off to war to serve the crown. In 1814, he came here and purchased a uh, lot 32 concession for uh, from Trafalgar, uh, Trafalgar Township, uh, the Indian Reserve it was called at the time, and bought this property from the uh, Mississaugas of the Credit, who we uh, acknowledge as being the stewards and thank them for that stewardship. So Charles uh, started the schoolhouse, uh, worked on the farm. He was actually uh, a very, just as enterprising as his father. He was a carpenter, a farmer. Uh, after be finishing his teaching, he was a uh, trustee, superintendent. He was also the secretary for the uh, Bronny Harbor uh, Corporation extremely uh, industrious and also wrote 50 years of diaries. And some of them are rather dry accounts, but you know, he talked about the comings and goings of the village. He talked about the rather intricacies of the barter system at the time, you know, a bushels of apples for, uh, you know, animals and livestock. He talked about the weather, the howlings of the wind, the ragings of the lake. Uh, and also he talked about uh, his home life and his lovely wife, the death of his children. And in the end, he was rather uh, a lonely man because by 1861 is when Elizabeth Ann Howell passed away. He talks about uh, how lonely he is, that all his children are either deceased or three have left for the United States. And it's in 1870 that he actually uh, leaves his uh, farmhouse and moves to uh, a property that is um, <clears throat> west of Mississauga, sorry, east of Mississauga Street, north of the Lakeshore right up to Rebecca.